What is up, everybody? It's not real here, and welcome to a special video. Well, I don't really do so many of these, but so I think it's going to be pretty exciting. I'm going to be talking about the announcement for the season two uh, DLC characters for Street Fighter Five, and the announcement that they made that these will be five. That like, Akuma was already announced. You know, he came in there looking like a Mimi and Lion. Uh, if you guys haven't, haven't seen them, but they also announced five other characters that they said are going to be completely new fire. Okay, they're going to be completely new to Street Fighter. And in this video, I kind of want to give my predictions as to who I feel these characters are going to be. Now, again, they said that this that these other five characters besides Akuma. These other five characters that still have the silhouette shown because they haven't revealed who they are yet, obviously. They said that these five characters will be brand new to the Street Fighter universe, meaning that they never were in a Street Fighter game ever before. But I kind of feel like they're going to pull an okie doke, meaning that they're going to, they, maybe they mean the Street Fighter Five universe, and, you know, because some of these silhouettes look vaguely familiar to other people who played other Street Fighter games, including Street Fighter Three Third Strike which are going to be a couple of my predictions anyway. Um, <clears throat> now, one of these characters I obviously can't see. And, uh, you know, the one that got the big question mark, but we're going to take a look at, a, at another picture that uh, has the silhouette reveal. And I'm going to talk about, um, you know, who I think these characters are. So first, I want to take a look at this first silhouette right here. I don't know if you guys can see my... Uh, uh, the arrow with the first silhouette to the far left of the screen. Now, to me, this clearly looks like Q. And Q was always that big mystery character in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, uh, wearing the whole Street Fighter 3 uh, series, because he never really said too much. He was always this mystery character. He had this metal helmet on. Didn't really know who he was, where he came from, even in his ending in Street Fighter Free Third Strike. They, like, it wasn't really clear where this guy came from or, you know, what his purpose was. He was just there, you know, um, and it was, it was always just this big mystery behind him. And one thing that kind of gives away that this may be you, I mean, you can look at the silhouette, you can look at him. I don't think there's, unless there's been some you know, other character with similar features in, like, the comics or something like that that I'm not familiar with, then, I mean, you could, one of the main things is that you can look at the hat. You know, you can clearly see that this is somebody that has on, you know, a coat of some kind. You can tell from, like, the little frills right there, like the, like the collar um, and the hat. Those are two, like, dead giveaways that this might, more than likely might be you. But again, they said these are going to be completely new characters. So unless they're throwing Kung Lao in there for more combat, I don't really see how this is isn't going to be Q. Now, maybe it's going to be Q unmasked, because technically, unmasked, he hasn't been in a, in a Street Fighter game, you know, so they could be throwing him in there, or maybe they're going to throw him in there with, with, with like, his real name, and then at, at his um at his ending in, a, in arcade mode, if they put cinematic endings in arcade mode for the characters, they're going to reveal that this person was Q. So that's kind of like my, what my, who I think this is. I think it's, it may be like Q unmasked. Because there's too many similarities between that silhouette and this character. You know, so I feel like that's my first prediction right there. I think it's going to be Q unmasked. And if they ever add cinematic endings to the Street Fighter V, which I think they plan on doing in 2017, then they're going to reveal that the this guy who may be an unmasked Q cinematic ending was actually Q the whole time. And this was his purpose because his story needs to be told. I, I think everybody that ever played Street Fighter 3 um, in its entirety uh, can honestly say that this is one of the characters who has a mystery that needs to be revealed. You know, he has secrets that need to be told. That's my first prediction. Um, but my second one, this guy right here, I honestly think this is going to be Remy. Now, one of the things about Street Fighter 3, uh, you know, Third Strike, because that was the first and only uh, 
game within the Street Fighter Three series that I played. Um, one of the, one of the things about Street Fighter Three is that they had they kind of had like replacement characters for the other mainstays that you would normally see in a Street Fighter game. Um, for Street Fighter Three, you know, Remy he was kind of like the replacement for Guile because he had many moves that was very uh, reminiscent of Guile's moveset. You know, he he had two rings out that kind of look like sonic booms he had like a flash kick kind of skill um he even had like it was, it was like a dive kick that kind of looked like dials um little jump spin you know kick you know that he has where he like does a jump and he does like a spin kick kind of he, he had a move that was similar to that so in in many ways there were similarities between him and guile so he was kind of like the replacement for guile in street fighter 3 third strike and the thing that kind of made me think that this is guile uh, Remy is that, you know, when you look at the hair silhouette, even though you can't clearly see the type of hair the guy has, it kind of looks like, you know, it could be uh, him. But another prediction that I may have because it says that, you know, these characters are going to be completely new to the Street Fighter universe, meaning that they've never been added to a roster or used or made into, like, fully ca- you know, uh, a full character. Um, my other prediction for this sort of character maybe is Ed. And if you guys play Street Fighter, the Street Fighter Five uh, story for Nash, um, or even like you know, if you guys play Street Fighter Five, uh, you know Ed, from what I understand, is supposed to be licensed like replacement body, the future. Um, and you know this is just a scene from the game where he's interacting with Nash. Because uh, Nash, you know, he's been reanimated and looking for Bison in order to defeat him. I mean, he even runs into Balrog, I think, and his kid. And if I can find here, this is the picture I was looking for right here. This is like kind of like a, a cut out from the game. Um, you know, you see how he has like his hood right there, and you know. Taking a look at this, as well as taking a look at um, the silhouette right there, I kind of see some similarities there, because that could be a hooded, uh, like a hoodie, um, like an oversized hoodie, and could be being added to the main roster as a, as a main character, because you hate to see has some, because in the, in, a, um, in the storyline, excuse me, seems to have some type of fighting potential. I mean, after all, he does have the psychic powers, um, that M. Bison has, and he's supposed to be, you know, like, again, the body for M. Bison in the near future, uh, based on what the story says. So, I don't know. We could be looking at Ed in one of these silhouettes. I don't know if it's if this is going to be him or what, but I have a feeling it's either going to be between Remy or him. If, you know, like, again, some of these predictions, I, I don't think they mean whatever reason, I'm, I just can't seem to take them seriously when they say some of these characters are going to be completely new for the Street Fighter universe. I, I think they mean the, the Street Fighter V because some of these characters have silhouettes that may be, that are just too familiar to other characters in previous Street Fighter installments. And that's just, you know, for number two, it's either going to be Remy from Street Fighter Three Third Strike or Ed from Street Fighter V. Um, Got a five storyline. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about this guy right here. Now, this is going to be kind of like a dude because I think this could be one of two characters. The first uh, character who I think this is going to be is Oro. Now, it's kind of like a stretch for me to say that because, as for those again who played Street Fighter 3, um, you know that Oro was a character in Street Fighter 3 that he only fought with one arm because he kind of sealed away his other arms. In order to give, you know, because he was supposed to be su- such a good fighter that, you know, he was too good with both his arms. So in order to give his opponents a fighting chance to beat him, kind of use a technique to steal away one of his arms. Um, and, you know, that's what he did. So this character, he has two arms. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not him. Uh, it could be maybe he unsealed his arm or whatever like that, but I kind of think it kind of takes away from the gameplay for those who have played Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, I think that kind of takes away from the way we know him to be played. 
Let's see if she got a five. If it is him, I mean, I think it would be great. Because we kind of, I can see Oro being added to the roster. If not now, then sometime in, in the future. I think anybody who had a wish list of characters that they wanted to be added to Street Fighter Five, Oro, nine times out of ten, was in their wish list. Because I think he has a very unique play style. Um, well, not very, you know, per se, because other characters do have similar moves that he does. It's just that it's something special about him that you that you feel he could really be good in Street Fighter Five. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, the other character that I had in mind is Necro right here. Also from Street Fighter 3. He was supposed to be like kind of like the replacement for Dalzo. In the sense that, you know, he was the character that could stretch his limbs and kind of like zone out other uh, characters. Maybe not to, as well as you know, Dalzo was known to do, but he kind of did that to a degree. That, you know, he was like kind of like the replacement for, for Dalzo. Um, you know, he, he kind of had like, uh, like he kind of replaced two characters. Because he was able to produce electricity from his body, like Blanca, as well as you know, as well as uh, have his limbs um, get stretched like like Dalzum. So he kind of replaced two characters. Uh, I kind of feel like this is him, <laughs> but again, new characters to the Street Fighter universe. I don't unless they're pulling some type of trick move and they end up putting Street Fighter three characters in there instead. Uh, but I don't think they're gonna. For whatever reason, I can see them doing that, but I don't think they will. Um, but for whatever reason, I just can't shake this feeling that this is going to be him. Not, not unless they put some uh, Skullomania in the game, which no, I don't think anybody wants to see Skullomania in a Street Fighter game ever again. Because uh, he was like a joke in Street Fighter EX, and that's all he was. He was kind of like rehash old sprites from other characters, and they just kind of kind of made like a montage him in there like he was never meant to be taken seriously um as a character that had any type of continuity within the street fighter universe but, but yeah uh Nero most definitely I feel like he has a redemption story that kind of needs to be told so I don't know if he's gonna try, if they do put him in the game in the future I don't know if he's gonna have any type of relevancy uh cause Gil kind of is the reason why he is who he is cause First, he was like a human, and Gil kind of tricked him into becoming an experiment, which turned him into Necro, the guy you see before you. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but the guy almost kind of looks like a, a boxer, or maybe a kickboxer, maybe a, um, like a kickboxer, or like a Muay Thai fighter. I don't know. I think we're dealing with that. Now, finally... The character who I kind of feel is going to be kind of like the odd um, character that they may add, uh, just based on the silhouette, is I'm going to go out on the limb here. I'm going to say it's going to be Marco from Metal Slug. Yeah, I'm kind of predicting it's going to be Marco from Metal Slug. Now, before you go crazy, hear me out. You're looking at the, the character here. He kind of has like a hat thing going on. I know Marco never really had a hat in Metal Slug. Um, you know, he has like this backpack thing it looks like. And he looks like to have some type of belt with uh, with weapons. Not unless this is like his arm or something. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Marco was in a fighting game before. He was in Neo Geo Battle at Coliseum. For anybody that played that game, you know, he was in there. He kind of played... Uh, he had a unique play style that was... All his moves were very reminiscent of, you know, of course, what he did in Metal Slug. And to an extent, he was kind of like Ralph or, or like Clark. So, more so Ralph than Clark. But he had moves um, somewhat similar to Ralph in the, in the game. And I don't know. Like, that's kind of like a wild card for me because, you know, Capcom and SNK, they all they, they had a relationship in the past, and from that relationship they they made uh, they made Capcom versus SNK. Now, they, I don't know, maybe you know some people in high places between the companies feel 
you know, are cool with each other. Um, I know the companies, they've had their, you know, their history in the past to where they didn't really want to interact with each other anymore. But I don't know, maybe they talk to somebody over there and say, hey, you know what? This could be like a random surprise. Let's try to put one of your characters in our fighting game. And I don't know what exactly how he would fit in there. Because, like I said, this is kind of like a wild card of just throwing out. But I, for whatever reason, it, it looks like him. You know, it, it's not the best guess in the world, but it kind of looks like him, doesn't it? Uh, of course, I can't tell who this is behind the question mark because of that. But if I had to guess, I mean, I would say maybe Sean's going to get added to it because I can't really tell who it is because it, it's just the question mark kind of throws it off. But another thing I wanted to take a look at before I ended this video for y'all. In the, um, in the final screenshot of the Akuma reveal trailer, uh, where they announced, of course, five completely new characters for you know, Street Fighter V, these are the silhouettes from uh, those screenshots that they did. Now, one thing that kind of gives away that, you know, who these characters may be, um, or at the very least, their nationality, which kind of can lead into who they may actually be in um, Street Fighter. Uh, just take a look at their background, because this may be like their home pages. Um, you know, you see a guy here, which looks like he's on what, uh, I don't know, Guile stage, maybe? Can't really make out, but it looks like Guile stage. This guy, he, uh, in downtown China, in Brazil. This guy, he's in like a mountainous area. I think this is where Nakali stage is. And it's kind of just giving away that this, you know, who these characters are. This guy, you know, like he has an American flag in the background again, which would make sense for a Marco, Metal Slug, Soldier, American, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I'm just kind of throwing ideas out there, but I, I honestly can't, can't imagine who characters may be. This is like a weapon right here, or like a sigh or something. I don't know. But a sigh, or maybe even like a Vajra. I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just throwing ideas out there. Just, I mean, even though they say that these are completely new characters for Street Fighter, Street Fighter Universe, I feel like, in a, I don't know, I got this, this sneaking suspicion that they're going to pull like an okie doke and they're going to put some Street Fighter 3 characters in there. If not now, then you can definitely see them adding, adding uh, the characters that I mentioned in the future. So I can't really call it. This is just to have a little bit of fun and, you know, Kind of open up some discussion as to what we're dealing with here, because I don't like I can't really imagine characters other than besides the ones I named. Now, the one that I think might actually be true out of all the predictions that I made is that this person more than likely is going to end up being Q. The only thing is, I think they're not going to put Q, you know, in the game per se. Um, I feel like they're going to unmask Q. They're going to give him his real name. Um, or maybe even like another alias, put him in the game, and then if they reveal any cinematic ending, it's going to reveal that this person was Q in his past, which will be Street Fighter 3. So I feel like this is going to be Q. Uh, I feel like that's the only thing that I feel like is like a real prediction. And I think that's a good guess. The other ones are kind of up in the air. Um, Ed, I can see them adding Ed to the game the roster um the other ones are just out there and of course marco was like the biggest most far-fetched idea i could think of as to who that could be but i can't really think of anybody else that they would that would look like this in street fighter um they just, I, don't, I don't know because you really got to pay attention to that phrase like five brand new five, the other five characters characters will be brand new to the street fighter universe and I don't know. I think I don't know. I don't know, man. Give me your ideas as to think about my predictions are who you feel these characters um, could be. I honestly think this could be, but it's going to be cute and mask. Um, that's the only prediction that I feel like I had, or the only good prediction that I feel like I had. Ed, that was a 
another good one. The other ones were just kind of silly, but it's always good to have these type of conversations, you know, open, open up some dialogue. So, tell me, so you guys tell me what you think, man. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.